Wiring a ceiling fan doesn't have to be intimidating. How you wire it depends on how you want it to operate. Whatever the configuration, it's probably a straightforward DIY project. Here's what you'll need for the four most common wiring scenarios. Before accessing any junction box, always turn the power off at the breaker box and leave a note so no one accidentally restores power during installation. First, familiarize yourself with wiring safety, color coding, and how the wires connect. The color coding for your home's wiring should be relatively simple. Black is a hot wire that leads to the switch. White is a neutral wire and completes the electrical circuit. Green, or copper, is a ground wire and can keep a fixture from experiencing damaging power surges. If you find a blue wire and a black wire in a junction box, they're likely wired to two switches on the wall. A red wire also indicates a wall switch. Now, inspect the fan's wiring. The black wire powers the fan. The white is neutral. The green wire is for the ground. And a red, blue, or striped wire can act as a conductor to carry power to the fan's light kit. Next, you'll connect the new fan's wiring to your household wiring using the connector supplied in your fan's installation kit. The first wiring scenario is for rooms without a switch, so you'll use the two pull chains to turn on the fan and light fixture. To install, connect the green and grounding wires together, then the white wires together, then connect the fan's blue and black wires to the home's black and red wires. This configuration will run power to both your fan and your light kit. Now, tuck the wires up into the box, mount the fan to the ceiling, restore power, and test the fan. The next configuration requires one switch. This would control the fan's light assembly. You'd turn the fan on with the pull chain. First, connect the ground wires together, then the white, now, connect the light kit's blue wire to the red wire in the ceiling and the black wire from the fan to the black wire in the ceiling. Once all are secure, tuck the wiring into the box, mount the fan to the ceiling, restore power, and check your work. A third scenario is using one switch to control both the light and the fan simultaneously. Here, you would connect green to grounding, white to white, then connect both the fan's black and blue wires to the house's black wire. Finally, scenario number four offers the most convenient but requires two separate switches. One switch powers the light kit and the other powers the fan. To do this, the wire from your wall circuit to your light has to have four wires. Connect the green to the ground wire, then white to white, the blue fan wire to the red ceiling wire, and the black fan wire to the black ceiling wire. In the switch box, run the black wire to the screw located in switch number one, and the red wire to the screw in switch number two. Now, connect the white wires and grounding wires, then tuck all the wiring back into their boxes and mount the fan to the ceiling. Once the power is restored, turn on to test each switch. Keep in mind, most new fans come with ceiling fan remotes, and their receivers will require installation during the initial wiring process when the main power supply is off. To install a receiver after installation, lower the canopy to reveal the wiring and connect all the corresponding wires per the instructions. When wiring is complete, replace the canopy and turn the power back on to test the remote and enjoy your newly installed ceiling fan. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.